So in this question, we are given the parametric equations of a given curve. And that given curve is illustrated by that parabola looking curve. And what we'll do first is take those parametric equations and we're just gonna write them in vector equation form. So we're gonna have an, a vector that we can call R of T. And then for the X component of the vector, we can see that X is equal to the parameter T. For the Y component, we have Y is E to the negative T. And then for the z component, we have 2t minus t squared. Now, at a particular point whose coordinates are shown, 0, 1, 0, we have ourselves a tangent line. Now, that tangent line is going to be parallel to a tangent vector. And the tangent vector is symbolized by r prime of t. So what we're going to need to do next is take our vector function, r of t, and differentiate it with respect to t. We're going to calculate the derivative, in other words. So here we go, r prime of t, this is the tangent vector function. We take the derivative of the individual components. So the derivative of one t is one. The derivative of e to the negative t would be e to the negative t, but then don't forget to multiply by the derivative of the negative one t in the exponent. So that's just times negative one. And then for the derivative of the z component, we have two minus two t. Now, we need to evaluate this at a specific value of t because we are at a specific point. We have to figure out that value of t. And if we look carefully, it's very simple. We can see that the x coordinate is zero. And if we look back at the original vector function, we know that x is equal to t. So in other words, if the x coordinate is zero, we plug that in for x, well then t is equal to zero as well. So we're just going to plug in t for zero or zero for t, I might say. So here we go, we're going to have for the x component one, and then we have e to the zero, which is one, but then multiplied by negative one is negative one. And then over here we plug in and we get two minus zero, so that's just two. So this is our tangent vector. And this is great because we have all the pieces of the puzzle. We have a tangent vector, and this is again parallel to the line whose equation we are adopting. So here's a key point. If the tangent vector has these direction numbers of 1, negative 1, and 2, that means that the tangent line has the same direction numbers because the tangent line is parallel to that tangent vector, that r prime of t. So to summarize, we're going to use those exact same direction numbers for our tangent line in green there. And then we have a point on our line, 0, 1, 0. So let's take a look at the general equation of a line in parametric form. There we have it. Now this x naught, y naught, and z naught is simply the or are simply the coordinates of our point here. So our x naught will be zero, our y naught is one, and our z naught is also zero. And then again, the a, b, and c are the direction numbers for our tangent line. We've gotten those earlier from the tangent vector. So let's plug everything in. There we have it. Everything is plugged in. We can simplify, of course. So we have x is equal to just t y is equal to 1 minus t, and then z is equal to 2t. And these are the answers. So this is the parametric equation of the line passing through the given point that was tangent to the original vector function curve. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you're interested in making a small donation to my cause, I'd greatly appreciate it, but please do not feel obligated to do so.